So this is my 2004 Mako 500. My the first one I had. I have that has the Mako written on the seat and on the gas tank. So um, this bike had accidentally had the gas left on and the um, it was left up on a stand where the back end sits high so it flooded the entire engine out. The entire cylinder was packed. I turned it upside down and um, removed all of the the oil but or all the gas and the oil mix but unfortunately it was still hard to turn over so I took it apart and um, the issue <clears throat> so here's a piston it is a male piston and it is a uh, um, 8642 um, it does have the or it did have the dike style rings on it uh, which... so it's not I mean the cylinder does have some you know, scratches in it you no know, wear marks and everything so I am going to get it bored out and everything but it ended up not being the problem the problem appears to be that uh, these bearings have locked up the bearings, something <clears throat> yeah the bearings or something have locked up so so yeah the only thing I have to do is take this whole thing apart and rebuild it that's fine the um I do have a new first and second gear to make this bike an enduro um, gear, um, an enduro uh, gearbox, so I'll have to do that, but anyhow, so that's what happened with this bike, it uh, flooded out and then something, something uh, basically locked up, one of the bearings I'm assuming is locked up, so Just have to take it apart and rebuild the spike. So these are the dike style rings that were on the the Mako. So one side has a little gap in it. So it looks like an L. And you turn it sideways. Yep. But I find like bolts in that. Try to keep track of them. Um, where they go. So these ones, for example. Um, these ones go in here on these radiators. So what I'll probably do is just bolt them in there so that uh, they're in the right place I go back <clears throat> and like these head the head put it in here make sure I have all the washers if I have all the washers there's the head is right in there. Yep. Here's the a piston. Here's the the wrist bearing, but I'll probably get a new wrist bearing. Um, of course, I have a collection of pistons, so keep that. This guess this scrape happened after I pulled it out. These weren't in there. This happened when I. Moved it across the ground. That was making ground. But these scrapes actually were in there. There's a big gash on the side of it. So. It has the royal rod. 
Well, one of the next things I have to do is pull off the engine. And before I pull off the engine, I'll probably crack some of the bolts, take it apart. Probably take out this, this case here and take off a lot of it, so a lot of it's already out. Um, 